So, Star Trek A Final Unity, which is a very odd name for a game, if you ask me. Anyway, oh uh, look. Captain Log, oh. Stardate 47111.1. <laughs> a Federation one, one, one. post along the one, Romulan one. neutral zone has detected an unidentified vessel headed for Federation space. The Enterprise is moving to intercept. Ooh. At its reported heading and velocity, <laughs> Data. the vessel will enter Federation fucked up. Oh! Federation space in approximately 47.3 seconds. Go to yellow alert. We have the vessel Whoa. on sensors. The ship is a Garidian <laughs> scout ship. They are driving their engines too hard. Their warp core is critical. The it's Garidian like ship. What is the status of their relationship with the Romulan Empire? They are on friendly terms and may share technology. Oh. We are being hailed. On screen. Help us. We are fleeing political persecution. We seek asylum. We are being persecuted. Their signal is breaking up. What do you make of this, number one? It could be a trick. The Garidians have earned a reputation as honorable warriors, Captain. They do not ordinarily resort to trickery. We are within visual range. The Garidians warp drive is failing. They are dropping to sublight speed inside Federation space. Slow to impulse. Warbird decloaking directly ahead. Oh shit. Oh man, that's big. The Warbird is also Garidian. They are hailing us. This is an internal Gridian matter. Withdraw at once. You are violating Federation space. They have oh. cut off transmission. <laughs> Not in the mood to talk today. The Warbird has locked its tractor beam onto the scout ship. Go to red alert. Blimey. So, the Gridians look just like the Romulans for some reason. It's like... I know the Romulans were an offshoot of, of the Vulcans and that was a bit cheap, but then they try to do this fucking copy-paste again <laughs> without even doing much to change their technology or their appearance. But they're honourable warriors, and yet they're related to the Romulans. I don't believe it. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyagers of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Yay! I'll watch them all over and over again. Those seven seasons were swell. I wish there were twelve. <laughs> If anyone knows that, it's the Star Trek Next Generation episode guide song. It's, I can't help think of it whenever I hear this music. Gee, I lost it. Oh, it's out of... Yeah, whatever. Major Barrett is this Right, that never shows up in the... Uh, I guess she probably has the most starring role in this, in this uh, game. And the wife of Gene Roddenberry got to be the computer. Thus appeared in every episode of the Next Generation. I think. Captain's log supplemental. A Garidian warbird has violated the neutral zone in pursuit of a scout ship. The fugitives may. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, anyway. Um. God, this looks weird. Okay, it looks like I can touch up Picard or talk to Deanna. <laughs> data. Uh, right, so uh, hmm, I don't know this interface, so I may struggle a bit. It's my first time playing it, so forgive me. Oh, yeah, let's uh, talk to the warbird. They are not responding. Oh. Can we what? beam the crew off the scout ship? Not at this time. The warbird's tractor beam is creating too much interference. Since when does that happen? Okay. Yep. Get yourself comfortable, Will. Okay, uh... Mr. Data, do you have any suggestions? As long as the Warbird maintains a tractor beam on the scout ship, we cannot beam its crew aboard. However, if we maneuvered the Enterprise between the ships, we could temporarily disrupt the tractor beam. Hmm. We will have to drop our shields to use the transporter. That seems unwise. I'm not willing to take that risk. 
let's assess our other options. This is pretty cool. Obviously, the voice acting uh, is a great addition. Uh, what are you going to tell me? Oh, tell me that. Tell me that the Garidians are upset or something. Any insights, Counselor? The Garidian captain is torn about something, as if she were faced with a difficult dilemma. Uh -huh. She has violated the neutral zone. Duh. It's more than that. I think she has a personal stake in this matter. Mm. What do you think, number one? The Garidians respect strength. If we show any sign of weakness, it might just encourage them to fight. Mm. What do you suggest? Maybe we can use our phasers until they listen to reason. <laughs> I'd expect that coming from Wolf. Yeah. Just lock your phasers onto the wall, but hold fire. That may be too strong an action. Mr. Wolf, lock phases onto the warbird, but hold your fire. Aye, sir. They are locking their disruptors on us. Yeah, this is escalating quickly. Mr. Wolf, your analysis. The Garidian warbird is similar to the Romulan Dideradex class. Mm. It is less maneuverable than the Enterprise, but it has slightly more firepower. We'd both take a beating if it came down to a fight. Yeah. Our records identify the warbird as the Asirim. Commanded by Captain Pintara. Starfleet intelligence rates her as a capable but unimaginative tactician. Hmm. Right, well, let's see. View screen. Look at that. It looks like a Romulan ship, but it's got these. It's grey and it's got these other markings. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let's see. What does this do? Oh, that lets me look at previous conversations. That lets me do that. Difficulty Edson. Okay, I suppose that's appropriate. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I guess I should just... Well, I've got to do something. Oh, computer. Primary core access enabled. Systems online. Oh, I don't think this is the time to be looking at Wiki... Uh, Ed, uh, Wiki Enterprisepedia. Oh, that's terrible. Astrogation. Sensors are detecting an energy buildup within the scout ship. What? I believe they have activated a self-destruct mechanism. Okay, Can you I'll... beam the scout ship crew aboard? We can. I estimate that the scout Shit. ship will self-destruct in approximately one minute. Okay, no more messing about. Uh... Perhaps we should attempt... Yes, make it so. Make it so. Break the tractor beam. Choice do we have? <laughs> this is ballsy. We're going to have to drop our shields. This is probably going to end in disaster. But if that ship explodes, then that's the end of the game. I guess. We have broken the Garidian's tractor beam. Nice. Oh, but it just. But it, but it re-established immediately. The crew of the scout ship has oh, been we did it. aboard. Sweet. Captain, the warbird is hailing us. <laughs> yeah. On screen. On screen. Federation starship. This is an internal Gridian matter. You've been warned not to interfere. Yeah, well, maybe if you tried talking to us first. Look at her hair. Uh, yeah, good point. Your presence here. Yeah, you were in fucking Federation territory. Your presence here gives us every right to interfere. Your presence here gives me every right to interfere. Why have you violated the neutral zone? Oh, I'm loving this. Captain, you are harboring dangerous criminals. I demand that you transfer them to my custody immediately. Demand? Let's see, hang on. Before discussing if I ever want to know who these people are and why you've pursued... Okay, let's... Yeah. Tell me why. Before this discussion goes any further, I want to know who these people are and why you have pursued them across the neutral zone. They are traitors and killers. My orders are to take them back to Garrod to stand trial for murder and sedition. Whatever mm. crimes they may have committed, you had no right to pursue them across the neutral zone. I was sent to bring these criminals back dead or alive and I will carry out my orders even if it means destroying your ship. Careful, Captain. Oh shit. Okay, uh... A Gridian ship no is on sensors. Okay, torpedoes, phasers, We are both. being hailed. The shields are holding. Federation Starship. This is an internal Gridian matter. You've been warned not to interfere. Yeah, you've already said that. Targeting Gridian Oh, it plugs. Whoa! Uh, okay. 
blood stains on the bridge. I don't know what I don't know how to do anything. Um, this is all a bit. Oh. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> Where's my ship gone? <laughs> the ship is decloaking. Fire. Yeah, fire. Yeah, the, the really fire. weird. Wobble. I salute you, Captain. You have been a worthy adversary. Ah. Are you leaving? I, I really can't tell what's going on here. But look at it, it's just flailing about like mental. Fire. Targeting Garidian Warbird. Come on, hey. If I've been a worthy adversary, you, you should just weapons lock. Oh yeah, keep the shields up. Did they, did they walk away? What the hell is going on here? This is stupid. Let's see. This is a bit overcomplicated. Um, ooh, tactics. Interesting. Corkscrew weapons. The ship is oh, uh, Hitman, engage. I don't know what that means. Torpedo away. Okay, that torpedo locked. Targeting Garidian Warbird. Okay. Did I strafe break maneuvers? <laughs> Something's happening. I don't know. Where's my where are my phasers? Okay, there's the charge rate. Am I locked onto the enemy ship? I don't I don't understand what's going on here. Um I just uh, should have looked this up. But... <laughs> okay, I guess the, the ship is doing it itself. Let's see, attacking maneuvers. Speed star attack. Engage tactical maneuver. Oh, there we go. Garidian Warbird. Is it gonna do it itself? <laughs> yeah, this just looks weird. I really don't know. Oh. I think I preferred the combat system in uh, Star Trek 25th Anniversary. Oh look, there's... <laughs> this is not the excitement of it'll delegate on. Mr. Yeah. Wolf, you have tactical. Yeah, good. Captain, oh. I am honored. <laughs> nice. Yeah, do Torpedo it. Locked. Targeting Meridian Warbird. Excellent. Mr. Wolf, you you look at this ship. What the hell is going on? This surely isn't the way it's supposed to be. <gasps> Torpedo away. This torpedo is a very Ah. Mm. Stamina. I don't even know what any of these mean. Corkscrew. The enemy has engaged its self-destruct sequence. What? No. You're beaten, Picard. Surrender or be destroyed. No, you're about to destroy yourself. <laughs> yeah. Speak for yourself, Pentara. Your ship has taken far more damage. Speak for yourself, Pentara. Your ship has taken far more damage than mine. Very well. You have won this time, Captain. But I promise you, there will be a next time. Alright then. Hopefully I'll know how to fight you by then. But I did it right, didn't I? Despite the Warbird myself. is heading back toward Geridian space. They are activating their cloaking device. Very good. Captain, our new arrivals are requesting to speak with you. Their names are Lucana, Avakar, and Tabat. Hmm. What are your orders, Captain? Yeah, alright, I'm thinking. Uh... Uh, I'd like to consider the situation. I should like to consider the situation a bit further. 